myself I'm Vidula Ranjit Vaskar Patil Department of Civil KITS College of Engineering Kolhapur Today we will be discussing about tenders and contracts So in this topic we would be covering types of tender difference between tender and contract tender document tender processing submission and envelope method of submission opening of tender scrutiny and acceptance so before moving to what is tender and what is contract we will start with contract so what is a contract contract is nothing but an exchange of promise between two parties who enters into a legal agreement and how this legal agreement is done this is done under the rules provided by indian contract act 1872 where one party drafts the contract fixing the terms conditions all by themselves so your government is not interfering so both the party have freedom to make their own rules terms conditions okay but they have to follow the guidelines of guidelines provided by indian contract act and this agreement is enforced by both the party in the court of law So next is tender. Okay. So before moving to tender, we will see tendering process first. So what in a regular project, what it has been done in this tendering process? First, for the particular project, the administrative approval that is related that this project should be continued or not, that is administrative approval from the higher authorities that this project is feasible or not feasible. So after this approval, the technical sanction. okay the technical team of the department various part department your department mean, means it can be pwd department it can be irrigation department it can be water resource department any government department or a private organization so their team of technical they look into the whole project and they see all the technical matters related to it that that uh, this project is feasible it's structurally uh, feasible or not then after technical sanction the the main part that is the budget uh, sanction then after all this approval a tender document is prepared okay so here this tender document we will see what it is and after this tender document this is floated to the contractors various contractors that who who are going to actually execute this work this these contractors are the experienced contractor to handle that work to complete that work and we have now here uh, there are various types of contractor or contracting procedure wherein you can select the fair contractor so you don't know every time that con who which contractor are available or who has that capacity to do the, your particular work so that we don't uh, have uh, knowledge about it so we float the tender this procedure so we give them proposal that come and look into this project is it feasible then do all the further procedure and this how we can choose a fair contractor and the procedure is transparent so here we will understand what is tender now okay so tender is an offer to the contractor to do a certain work in return of some money in particular time in given conditions so here the condition that is conditions to execute the work to carry out the contract requirement some special requirements have been required for particular project so that require it has to be carried according to this requirement the main uh, reason that it should be completed the project should be completed in stipulated time it includes bill of quantity means what item to be executed okay particular item so your item means uh, bill of quantity if you want to execute if there is a particular project of an building it requires uh, various activity like pcc uh, con concrete work brick work so how much that quantity is there in that particular work some and the amount 
sometimes it is defined by the uh, contractor or it is already provided by the department only percentage up and down how the contractor can work is specified okay so in this tender is nothing but a full set of document of information related to that product now this information will be drawings the bill of quantities the specification how this work should be carried out the time uh, time uh, and other condition so here you will understand it's nothing but an offer given to the contractors okay it's nothing it's just an offer proposal here the word tender we use like an proposal so how we should give uh, this technical information we cannot read out to one to one so we provide this technical information in a document which the contractor would read and submit their propose proposal or bid here we can see so this procedure we have seen we will see see this in detail when this uh, contractors they take this tender document so all this information is in a documented form okay so this document they take in and they thoroughly view everything every information related to it and they submit their offer okay what price they are uh, ready to work for that particular uh, project so that offer now when it is submitted by the individual contractor is called as bid now we will see actually uh the difference then we will understand all this terminology first is uh tender bid and contract okay so in tender the term formally means invitation so we have seen right now it's an in the proposal offer given to the contractor and it is given to many contractors we have not yet finalized okay so it is given to the all the contractor in various mode in the hard copy now this tendering is done in e tendering also so th those tenders are distributed uh, in the soft copy uh, on that particular department portal okay so this is tender it's nothing but an invitation but invitation is contained of technical information okay now this document each of the contractor will take and some of them they feel that this project is not feasible so they will not submit the bills so a bid so here the bid now some of them say they if the 100 contractors have taken their tender document they review it and amongst them 30 to 25 contractor are uh, willing to submit their proposal so here you can see in the second image there are only some contractor who are willing to do this work and they will submit their bid so these people are very less okay after their reviewal if they find their their finance is good they have the team they have the equipment the time is specified or the time which is uh, given in the tender document is feasible for them the conditions to work on uh, this project are feasible to them so they will review each and every page of the tender document and they will submit their bid now amongst this 25 30 contractor we have to finalize one contractor okay and we can make final agreement or we will give this project to that particular uh, contractor we call it as we'll award this project to them to execute this work of construction now contract is an final terminology okay here only two parties one the employer and other the contractor they come and do a final agreement okay now this final agreement this tender document this document remain same from the tender bid and contract but only the chosen contractor's document becomes a contract document so got it here the difference between tender bid and contract so tender is an proposal it's a document of proposal bid is offer submitted and contract is a final agreement now types of tender okay so this is an important part to choose or whom we are going to give this proposal so depending upon uh, whom we are giving this proposal or this tender there are types related to it first is open tender 
open tender here we in give this uh, tender document there is no criteria that this shouldn't give given to those contractors okay it is widely given sometimes it is national contract it is state contract international contract so all these types which is which has no uh, binding or obligation that who can take this uh, proposal this tender document this type is called as t open tender the next type is selective tender so here in this selective tender or closed tender we give this tender proposal to selected people to selected contractor we select them we give this proposal that this this tender document is open you can come and collect it so we choose the number of contractor here in the open contract we don't have that uh, choosing uh, option okay the next is negotiated tender so this is done between two or three contractors we know that this is a particular contract only these three people are feasible to do this work or we want them them to work for us so in this case we will not float it to the all the contractor we will go directly to them we will ask them that are they willing to do this work by submitting a tender proposal so that type of tender is called as negotiated tender the sec the fourth type is single stage or two stage so here it is nothing but uh, it's in tendering process of selecting contract in single stage the total bid is open at one 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 attempt but in the two stage contract sometimes you ask some qualification documents you ask some design requirements okay those are checked first their past experience of the project and then their financial bid is open that what at what price they are going to work for this particular project first they have to fill, fulfill some qualification uh, requirement okay that is called as some pre qualification if everything is done in single stage it is single stage con uh, tendering and if it done in two stages sometimes it is two two stages sometimes it can be three stage so most of the time it is two stage uh, the pre qualification of the contractor is checked then their bids are open if they miss some uh, qualification uh, uh, criteria so the second second stage is they don't go for the second stage the bid is not open only who are qualified the bid is open okay now we were talking about the uh, tender tender here so what is this tender document okay so here is the list provided that what is the content of this tender document so here you can see the first page is the title page which will give all the details of the agreement the project who is going to execute this uh, who are who is uh, which department is executing this project what is the cost of the project is given on the first page then the index the tender notice okay this is how you how the contractor will come to know that this tender is open this project need to be executed so for that reason the tender notice is floated on the portal of the department or the tender notice is published in the newspaper so that is the fo uh, format given to the contractor and it again becomes the part of the tender document then the ge some general instructions that how this project should be carried out this is there in the general in instruction some specific condition that on this specific condition that is this time they have to work only this this time the requirement of labor so this kind of special condition that that cannot be mentioned in the drawing is mentioned in the special condition now form of contract a a2 b b2 this depends on the type of contract so this we will see in the types of contract okay so right now i'll tell you if the person if the amount is uh, known for the particular project so that this particular project is to be worked out in one cr i know it or that is executed by the department then what the uh, department does they float the tender to the contractor and they ask that what percentage up and down the particular contractor uh, has to work so that contract type is called as percentage rate contract so the form for the percentage rate contract is different 
another type that department has not worked out the price but they have worked out the quantity so they ask that this this is the quantity and for this particular quantity how much amount need to be quoted is taken from the contractors so that is nothing but item rate contract so this is as the type of the contract forms of the contract vary so this is sixth point is forms of the contract the various clauses and terms and conditions so here you can add other than the general conditions particular condition that how it need to be executed is provided that those clauses we can add some legal clauses we can add here in the seventh point seven document then there are some schedules schedule a b and c so here we can see schedule a sometimes the department they provide the material to the contractor because they get those material in very much discounted rate so that discounted rate is not been given to the uh, contractor and here they can work on the profit they get higher profit by supplying the material because they get it in the discounted price so those material which is supplied by the de department is provided into the schedule a schedule b bill of quantities so here yeah, as we discuss uh, bill of quantity uh, that it is the list of the item which is covered in that particular project its quantity if it is percentage rate contract its price is mentioned if it is item rate contract its price is not mentioned so list of the item which comes in that particular project is mentioned in the schedule b now schedule c is same like schedule a here uh the uh, list of uh, equipment supplied by the department is mentioned next detailed drawings and specification drawings that is uh, actual dimension of the project need to be understood so detailed drawings have been provided specification that what class of work if it is brick work so there is class classes of brick class 1 brick work class 2 brick work so how it is executed the process of execution is mentioned in the specification and the specification is common for the particular department okay so that is uh the 10th document the next is uh sorry 11 document that is general specification general and detail sometimes it is general doc general specification that you have to do in this particular manner sometimes every everything is mentioned in this detail specification which quality of material how is to be executed the execution procedure is also mentioned in this procedure uh, specification next and the last the set of drawings Okay, here some annexes can also be added to this list of tender document. So this is the total tender document we have seen. So this is the list in detail, specification, general specification, and detail specification. In general condition of soft contract. Okay, what conditions are laid upon the contractor? The rate of item, how it is to be filled, or uh, equipment. which equipment need to be procured how much is the emd how it is collected from the uh, contractor how much is the security deposit we will see in this detail all this thing the mode of payment to the contractor how it will be paid in what intervals it will be paid okay here you you can see the terminologies that mode of payment of contractor including in running payment so if the work is of 1 crore okay if the project is of 1 cr how it is paid at the end of work no it is paid partly sometimes it is paid weekly fortnightly monthly so the mode of payment to the contractor should be mentioned in this condition how they will rec uh, rec get the the security money back the security money and amd we will see later the time of completion of the work if they completed in a time some uh, some rewards have been given to the contractor if the com uh, uh, project is completed late some penalties are laid so all this uh, um, clauses we can mention in the conditions of contract now the tender notice how this tender notice is floated or given this proposal is given to the uh, various contractor so there are two types of tender notice 
one is brief tender notice wherein detailed information is provided about the project that when it will start what is the estimated cost of the project what is emd what is security deposit where you have to submit this tender when you have to submit this tender who is the authority to collect this uh, tender what is the last date of submission of the bid what is the opening day of the bid that is when this bid will open and choosing date the place everything is mentioned in this tender notice that is something schedule for choosing the contractor is mentioned in the tender notice so in the newspaper this detailed tender notice is not been provided so for the newspaper very short tender notice and the de important dates and price are highlighted so we will see here so these are the two tender notice on the screen uh, here you can see in the second tender notice of Lucknow Containment Board. Okay, so here you can see this is invited online. So this the mode of tendering is e-tendering. In the first line only you will get is that what mode of conduction offline or online. Okay, to be invited. So which party, which body is inviting or the officer who is inviting is mentioned in the first paragraph you can see the table here and the title of the project so supply and installation of street light poles so this is tender for supply of material so what is the cost of the project it is something 89 lakhs the emd for that particular project okay is mentioned there and the cost of the document that particular document is generally not available free so it has some cost of that tendered document so we that how much cost it needs to be uh, paid for uh, purchasing this document is mentioned in the tender notice the next we will see uh, the detailed dates that when to submit the bill when to collect this document what is the last date to collect this document when to submit the bill if you have uh, some queries regarding the some tender uh, information so you can ask this uh, information and in pre bid meetings Okay, before uh, bid meeting, there it is called as pre bid meeting. So you can ask your queries. There is sometimes site visit to this uh, that particular site. So that do, days, timing, venue, who will conduct it, everything is mentioned. And the last you can see who is floating this tender notice. The line is mentioned. The authority, the qualification of that person. Okay, it's mentioned there. So we will see a brief tender notice or a tender document. So here is a tender document. Just a minute, I'll make it full screen. So this is tender for uh, NSIC Technical Service Center, New Delhi. So the work is for execution of miscellaneous civil work related to setting of the tender. Okay. So this is the first title page of the tender document wherein the address of that uh, NSIC is also mentioned. So we will just go through in one tender document then you will come to an idea how that what is exactly a tender document. So this is uh, the proposal first page that whom this document is sent or which contractor this is given. The second page. Now, here you can see the detailed tender notice. So, this is not the newspaper invitation, this is detailed tender notice. So, here you can find everything detailed the EMD cost, the cost of the project. If many projects are need to be executed, the tendering process can be uh, done at one, uh, one, one uh, time. So, many projects can be executed in one tendering process of the particular department. So, all the details can be mentioned here. 
here you can see the estimated cost of the project in the table ok the e e EMD we will see what is this EMD further the completion uh, EMD will I will just explain you in short that is a contractor willingness to do work so how it is uh, been uh, expressed so here they have to pay some amount of money so they will execute it whatever the term, term is or uh, whatever conditions are there they will follow for this tendering so this is earnest money deposit the time period for the completion of work uh, some where the issue of blank tender document dates are mentioned last date of submission so this is a brief tender notice here you can see the blank tender document is to be invite, uh, given so what date what time how much rupees so all conditions for the tendering can be mentioned in this tender notice ok detailed conditions and which account if you are paying the EMD where you have to pay it so the account details of the bank has been also provided the index what are the contents of uh, the tender document so here we have seen the instruction to the tender there will be general conditions to the contract that what under what conditions they will execute some safety code that is during execution uh, some safety practices has to be uh, ex uh, uh, applied or uh, executed that can be mentioned in the safety code uh, the forms of the tender it is item rate or uh, percentage read some at appendix that is you can add some information if the particular project requires ok uh, special conditions and under what circumstances this project need to be executed tender drawings bill of quantities we will go through this tender document so you can see the instructions related to the tenders is given that is site particular submission of tender how it is to be submitted and what so this is uh, there is submission is done in envelope system we will see in this part 2 of this uh, lecture so this envelope number 1 that is technical bid what contain they are asking for the technical bid it is two stage uh, tendering process so in what envelope 2 uh, what they are expecting qualification criteria is been seen abnormal rates if the rate quoted by uh, the contractor are abnormal how it is to be deal delays award of work acceptance on what uh, lines correction if it is there how it how it is to be done firm rate code of ethics if some un, uh, misbehaving is done fraud practices has been done so all the clauses related to it is mentioned in the instructions ok now this instructions are to the contractor or bidder that there is nothing related to the project now in the general condition of contract now here the project uh, uh, conditions have been mentioned which is called a site who is contractor who is the competent authority what are the powers of engineers in charge at the work site the general manager which specifications they have to follow so this everything is mentioned in general conditions ok work to be carried out inspections on site the security deposit what is this uh, mode of payment of this how it is refunded so this is everything is suspension of the work time of an extension for uh, work the delays so all this clause how it to be executed is mentioned in the general conditions of the contract so this is related to the project itself defect liability period so we'll see the defect liability period in the clause of uh, security deposit so 
so you we can see what were the various colors is the arbitration terminology the third party who enters in the dispute so who is that arbitrator so his details is also mentioned in the general conditions of contract which safety codes we have to follow safety instructions we have to follow related to equipment execution of site how the worker has to behave what protections need to be given to the workers to the engineers to the visitors so this everything norms is mentioned in the safety codes form of the contract that is item rate percentage rate this is the form special conditions on what circumstances what will be uh, the cost of execution of work if it is done at risk the time period what time they have to work the working time late night working how it to be executed inspection of the site so all the special inspection related clauses mentioned in special condition drawings of the project this is bill of quantity that is schedule b so you here you can see how it is schedule b bill of quantities so which work is to be executed dsr item earthwork how much quantity it is there so you here we can see 16.56 cubic meter the work is there the rate this is item rate contract so rate column will be blank okay and on which this specification this, these are taken from district schedule rate prepared by that particular department so this explanation the uh, description of that particular item that is earthwork is taken from the dsr of that particular department district schedule rate wherein some uh, guidelines are provided for related to rate also material prices so you can see the bill of quantities schedule b concrete work the items included for that execution of the particular work and here the bid is to be submitted in sealed format with signature okay so any query regarding uh, to the contract proceeding you can ask me here thank you